take a full breath in and a full breath out. Let it go. Start to blink your eyes open and bring your hands by your sides. Just press your upper body up so that your blocks are underneath you anymore. Set them to the side or your bolster or whatever you used. And go ahead and lay back on your mat. Let your legs go long. Grab your strap or your makeshift strap, your belt or your long sleeve shirt as you lay back. We'll need it in a minute. Just come into a Shavasana for a breath or two. Again, let your shoulders melt down towards the floor. Let your feet fall. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. And go ahead and reach for your strap or your belt. If you're using a long sleeve shirt, just take the arms out to the side and then you can kind of fold or roll the center. You just need something long to catch our foot. Set both toes up towards the ceiling, both feet up towards the ceiling and pull your right knee into your chest. Then take your t-shirt, your strap or your belt Place your, the arch of your foot in it and then send your foot up. You can just grab it with your right hand. Inhale, take your right leg over to the right, all the way down. So just let it fall all the way down to the floor. Exhale, let it go. If it doesn't come all the way down, that's fine. You can hover it a little bit. I just don't want you to strain your elbow, your shoulder, or your arm. If it is by a wall, like mine is, feel free to let it relax on the wall. You can also place a block under it too, if that's helpful. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, exhale. Take one more full breath in. One more long, deep breath out your right leg back to center. Just switch hands. So grab your strap or makeshift strap in your left hand and then take it across your body. So over to the left. Again, you can relax your foot, your thigh on a block. You can hover or you can let it fall all the way down to the floor. Now I want you to scooch your hips so they're in a straight line. So I need them to move my left hip over to the right a little bit for this one and then find that deep breathing. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, exhale. Take one more full round of breath. Bring your left leg back up. As we do that, center your hips. And then your choice, you can remove the strap and slowly lower your left leg, your right leg, all the way down to the floor, or you can bend your knee into your chest, release your right foot down, and then send it long. When both legs are long, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Switching legs, pull your left knee into your chest. Place that strap, t shirt, or belt underneath the arch of your foot. I grab it in your left hand and take your leg over to the left. Again, you can release it all the way down. You can release it to a block. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take one more nice deep breath. Nice and slow, bring our left leg back to center. Switch your hands, grab the strap with your right hand, and then take your left leg over across your body to the right, and then scooch your hips so that they're stacked in a straight line. And glance up at the ceiling. You can glance at your foot if that's better for your neck. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, exhale. 
Take one more nice long round of breath. Bring your left leg back to center. Remove the strap. Again, you can take your left leg long or you can just bend your knee, bring your left foot to the floor and then bring it long to meet your right. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. You can rock and roll yourself up or press yourself up. Just reach around for your foam roller if you have one. Again, if you don't have one, if you have anything round, like a water bottle, like I mentioned, you can put it on the side. We're gonna start on our right side, so put it underneath. You can also use two blocks if you'd like and just put them underneath your hips. If you have none of those things, that's okay. You can just do this stretch without it. It'll just get a little deeper if you have one. So you're gonna place the foam roller right underneath your low back, but not quite at your tailbone. So back a little bit more. And then kind of press yourself up and roll it. You do kind of want it underneath your tailbone, underneath your low back, just not like poking into any bones. So see what works for you. And then send your left leg long. Pull your right knee into your chest. Interlace your hands right underneath your knee. Give yourself a little squeeze. So it's a single knee to chest, but with a prop if you have one. And that just allows us to get a little bit deeper into our left hip because we have a little more length and we have a little more, um, we have a little bit of height here with the foam roller. Full breath in, full breath out. Now take your fingers and place them right underneath your hip point. So right like where your hip point meets your thigh and then just gently press and kind of spread out that skin. Full breath in, full breath out. Just kind of giving yourself a little self massage, going into any tightness. Inhale, exhale. Reach for your knee again, take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then send your right arm back. So left leg is long, right arm is back. Just allow yourself to reach back. Full inhale, full exhale. Left heels pressing into the mat. Take one more breath. Bring your right hand back to your knee. Move your right foot down. Just bend both knees. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Switching our legs to your right leg long. Right heel into the mat, right toes up towards the ceiling. Pull your left knee in. Looking for that nice hip stretch. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring your hand right underneath your hip point. Just again, kind of spread out that skin right underneath your hip. Just a little pocket right there where your hip meets your thigh. So just kind of spreading that out. Full breath in, full breath out. Bring your right hand back to your knee and then send your left arm back. So right leg long, left arm back, full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, exhale. Bring both hands to your knee, take a full breath in and a full breath out. Release your left knee. Bring both feet to the floor one more time. Inhale, exhale. Go ahead and remove the foam roller, the block, the water bottle, whatever you had. And then start to bring yourself up. So you can always grab underneath your knees and rock and roll yourself up. You can just press yourself up to a seated position if that works better for you. And then place your right foot 
on your left knee if you can. You can also just stack your shins. If neither works for you, you can just sit um, in a cross-legged position just with you want your um, left leg on top. So go ahead and again, just find what works for you. And then start to hinge yourself forward. So onto your hands, maybe onto your forearms. You can always come onto a block. You can rest your forearms on a block. If you can come down that far, you can rest your head on a block. Your spine can round. It doesn't have to be long. Go ahead and let your head hang. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more nice, long round of breath. And then start to press yourself back up. And let's take that over to the side. So come out to your right forearm or your right hand. It can always just be right hand. If you can come to your forearm, go ahead. And then take your left arm up and over. You can also take your left hand to your left knee, especially if your knee starts coming up. So my other side, my hip is tighter and my knee is gonna come up, so I'll need to do that. Um, but either way, arm up and over or hand pressing into your knee. Full breath in, full breath out. Just try to come deeper into the, to, to the side bend. So whether that's taking your arm up and over or pressing your hand into your knee, full breath in, full breath out. Just take one more round of breath. and then start to press yourself back up to seated. Unravel your legs. Just bring the soles of your feet to the floor. You can stay here or you can take a nice slow windshield wiper. You guys know I love the windshield wiper motion. And then let's switch it out. So right leg underneath, left leg on top. If you're sitting crisscross or if you're stacking shins or placing your foot on your knee. Sit up tall first, and then start to hinge yourself forward. Again, your spine doesn't have to stay long. It can round. You can use a block or a bolster or a pillow for support. Just let your head hang. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Just take one more round of breath. And then start to press yourself back up to the center. Take a moment to sit up tall. And then taking your left hand to the floor or left forearm to the floor. You can take your right arm up and over. Or again, you can use it to press your right knee down into the mat. We're holding each pose for about five breaths for anyone that's counting. Some might be a little longer, some may be a little shorter. Full breath in, full breath out. Take one more long round of breath. And then press yourself back up to center, to seated. Unstack your legs, bring the soles of your feet to the floor. Just take a breath with them in neutral or take that windshield wiper side to side. Come back to center. And let's take a reclined cow face pose, but we're gonna have a twist today. So I'm just gonna lay this way so that you can see what I'm doing with my legs, but you can be centered on your mat. Go ahead and lay back on your back. 
You can bring your arms by your sides to a T or a gold post arms. They won't be there long. And then lift your knees up into 90. Take your right leg over your left. So you're wrapping your thighs, your right thighs coming on top of your left. Almost like if we were standing in an eagle pose, if you've taken yoga with me before, but we're not gonna wrap all the way around. We're just wrapping um, right leg over left. And then roll your upper body up and bring your feet down towards the floor. Try to catch opposite feet. So your right hand is catching your left leg because you cross your legs and then your left hand is crossing your right. So your arms aren't crossing side to side. You're just grabbing your opposite feet because your legs are twisted. And then gently let your elbows fall down to the floor with your feet in your hands so that your feet come down to the floor, towards the floor. They're not gonna come all the way down. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, exhale. Take one more round of breath. And then release your feet with your hands. Keep your legs twisted. Again, arms to a T or a goalpost arms and let your knees fall over to the left. So your knees are still crossed and we're falling into a side twist. Again, you can scooch your hips so they're stacked and you can gaze to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more full round of breath. Bring your gaze back to center. Bring your knees back up to center. Unravel, bring your knees back to 90 and then release them back to the floor, just to a breath. We'll switch out our legs, full breath in, full breath out. Knees come back up to 90 and then to your left leg over your right leg. So left thigh is going over your right thigh. Your right foot is falling towards the left side of your body. Your left foot is falling towards the right side of your body. Roll yourself up, catch opposite feet, and then roll yourself back down. Let your elbows fall down towards the floor. Let your feet come a little bit closer to the floor with each breath. Keep squeezing your thighs and pressing your knees together. So you don't wanna create space in between your legs or your knees. I'm gonna keep pressing knees together, squeezing thighs together. Full breath in, full breath out. Take one more long round of breath. And then release your feet, keep your legs wrapped arms to a T or a goalpost arms. Let your knees fall over to the right this time. Gaze goes to the left. Take one more long round of breath. Squeeze your knees, bring them back to center. Unravel your legs, release both feet to the floor. If you'd like, you can take that nice windshield wiper side to side, or just stay with your feet to the floor and knees in neutral. Bring your knees back to center. Start to bring yourself up to seated. So again, you can catch under your knees, take that rock and roll, or you can just press yourself back up. Let's come into a tabletop position. So move your props if they're in the way. We won't need the foam roller anymore. We may need the blocks. We won't need the truck either. Come into your tabletop. Let's take a few really nice, gentle cat cows. On your inhale, let your belly drop. 
peek up at the ceiling. You can tuck your toes if you'd like. Exhale, dome and round your spine. Um, tuck your toes. Inhale, belly drops, peek up. Exhale, dom and round. Take two or three more on your own. Again, just feeling it out. See what your body needs. You can always roll your hips as you do this or just pausing in the cat or the cow, kind of make circles with your hips or you can do a windshield wiper with your hips side to side too. Just seeing what your body needs. You can make really big circles also if you'd like and then switch directions. Just take one more breath. Land in your tabletop. And then bring in your big toes together. Separate your knees about hip distance. Let's come into a child's pose. Hips to sit back, arms reach forward. Release your forehead to the floor. If it's better on your shoulders, you can also reach your arms back by your sides. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, exhale. Let's take one more round of breath. Bring yourself back to the tabletop. Scoot your knees back into about hip distance. And let's take a thread the needle with our arms. So shift a little bit of weight into your left hand, your left arm. Bring your right arm out. If you'd like, you can reach it all the way up and then take your right arm underneath your left. Start to bend your left elbow. Bring your right ear to the floor. So you can take your left leg long or left arm long, excuse me, if that feels better, or you can leave it right where it is. Maybe try to reach your right fingertips a little bit farther or slide your shoulder under a little bit more. Take a full inhale and a full exhale. If you took your left arm long and bring it back to center, so your palm is down and your elbow is bent, and then slowly take your right arm out. You can reach it out to the side, maybe reach it up, and then release your right arm down. Back to the tabletop, inhale, exhale. Just take one cat cow, belly drops, peek up, dome and round your spine, option to tuck your toes. Coming back to center in your tabletop, shift a little weight into your right hand. Lift your left arm up, take it out to the side or maybe all the way up and then release your left arm underneath you, left ear to the floor. Right arm can go long or you can keep it bent. Full breath in, full breath out. If you took your arm long, bring it back to center, palm down, elbow up, slowly unravel, left arm out to the side or all the way up, and then really sit back down to your tabletop. Let's take one cat cow, belly drops, peek up, dome and round your spine, option to tuck your toes. Come back to center and then just take your knees back slightly. We're going to come all the way down to our bellies and we're still going to work our belly back bends, our pose of the month for April. So still strengthening our posterior chain, our back bodies. Just release yourself all the way down to the floor, however it feels best. Bring your arms by your side, take your gaze to the right. Inhale, exhale. Bring your forehead back to center. Bring your arms up to goal posts and then make spider tip fingers with your fingers. Let me move all my props so that you guys can see. Spider tip fingers on our bellies, elbows slightly lifted, 
We're going to take a couple rolling cobras. So we've been doing this if you've been with me all of April. So forehead centered, spider tip fingers, tops of your feet pressing down, knees are lifted. Just nice and slow, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time, fingertips press into the mat. And on your exhale, roll yourself down, forehead taps. Inhale, roll yourself up, use your fingertips, press down, use the tops of your feet. Exhale, roll all the way down, forehead taps. Just take one more, roll yourself up. Maybe peek forward on this last one and then roll yourself all the way down, forehead taps, arms by your sides, take your gaze to the left. Bring your forehead back to center. Taking our full locus, arms are by our side, airplane arms, we're coming back to those spider tip fingers so that our palms are lifted. Lift your heart and chest, then lift your arms up, thumbs up, go up, thumbs go up towards the ceiling, palms face out. Now without dropping the lift in your heart and chest, just lift your legs. Again, you can keep this small this week. We're doing a nice restorative practice. It doesn't have to be anything big. You can be two inches off the floor from either side of your body. Engage your glutes if you'd like. Reach arms back a little farther, lift up. Release all the way down. Take your gaze to the right. Bring your forehead back to center. Bring your arms back up into your goal post, but this time palms face down. So no spider tip fingers, palms are facing down. We're taking a skydiver's pose. Now lift your legs up so your knees are down, your heels lift, and then separate your knees about hip distance. If you'd like, you can separate them the width of your mat. Squeeze your heels together. So press your heels into each other. Now, Anchor with your hips, lift your heart and chest. Then hips stay grounded, try to lift your legs. So even if you just get the tiniest bit of your thighs up off the floor, just right underneath your knee or right above your knee actually, just get that up off the floor. Lift your heart and chest, lift your legs, maybe add some glute engagement, take one more breath. Release all the way down, gaze to the left arms by your sides. You can windshield over your legs side to side if you'd like, or you can release them down to your mat. Bring your forehead back to center. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself back up to the tabletop. So knees slide under hips, hands come back under shoulders. Let's take one cat cow, belly drops, peak up, dome and round your spine. Back to center in your tabletop. Sit back on your heels and then just slide your heels out to either side to get your legs in front of you and then roll back Let's take a restorative bridge pose. So bring your heels in towards your glutes, bring your glutes towards your heels and roll your upper body down. Hands press into the mat, feet press into the mat. Lift your hips up and then just slightly tilt them up towards your chest. So just the smallest little tilt to engage your back body. Again, if you'd like, you can squeeze your glutes. And then if you have that block, just bring it right underneath your sacrum, your low back, and let your hips rest on the block. So even with the block, I still want you to find that just light hip tilt up to keep our back body engaged. You can separate your feet a little wider if you'd like. 
you can take the block to a lower setting or a higher setting if you'd like. Again, find what works for you, what works for your body. That should really be the goal of the journey or the journey of any yoga class is finding what works for you in each pose. Take a full breath in. A full breath out. One more round of breath in your restorative bridge. And then take your block out. Release your hips to the floor. Bring the soles of your feet together again. Let your knees fall out. Wide bound angle. Place a hand to your heart and a hand to your belly. You can close your eyes. We'll take about five deep breaths here. Just letting your knees fall. You can slide your heels a little farther away from your body if you like. You can pull them in closer. Inhale, exhale, take one more round of breath. Bring your knees back to center, blink your eyes open. Coming into a single knee to chest, pull your right knee in, send your left leg long, or you can hover your left heel just an inch. Squeeze your right knee in towards your chest. And then bend your left leg so your foot is on the floor and your knee is bent. Take your right ankle on your left knee. We're coming into a thread of the needle. And then lift your left leg up to 90. Take your hands right underneath your knee, underneath your leg, or you can take them right below your knee, up to you and then squeeze your left leg in. You can also take your right hand to your right knee if you'd like and press it out. Or if your right elbow is at your knee when your hands are interlaced, you can use your elbow. Full breath in. Full breath out. Give your left leg a squeeze, pull it in. Release your left foot to the floor. Send your right leg high. Slowly lengthen and lower all the way down to your mat. Send your left leg to meet it. Inhale. Exhale. Pull your left knee into your chest. Single knee to chest. Send your right leg long or hover your right heel an inch. Give your knee a squeeze. Bend your right leg, foot to the floor. Knee is facing up towards the ceiling. Stack your left ankle on your right knee. Lift your right leg up to 90. Interlace right underneath your knee or right below your knee. Pull your right leg in. So try to keep your shoulders and your tailbone down on the floor. Again, you can use your left elbow or your left hand to press your left knee away. It'll give you a little bit more of a glute stretch. Keep both feet flexed to protect your knees. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Squeeze your right leg a little closer to your body and then release your right foot to the floor. Send your left leg high. Slowly lengthen and lower all the way down to your mat. Send your right leg to meet it. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Bring both feet back to the floor. Knees are bent. And then pull your knees into your chest for a double meet chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. You can rock and roll side to side. You can make little circles if you'd like. 
You can also send your feet up towards the ceiling for happy baby, grabbing the outside edges of your feet. From there, you can take a rock side to side. Bring your knees back in to the double kneaded chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Release both feet to the floor. Send your left leg long. Bring your right knee back to 90. We'll just take a nice easy twist. Take your right leg across your body. You can use your left hand for help. You can take your right arm out and gaze to the right. Take a full round of breath. Bring your right knee back to center. Release it to the floor. Bend your left leg. Send your right leg long. Bring your left knee to 90. You can reach for it with your right hand to take it across your body, or you can just let it fall without the help of your arm or your hand. Left arm out to the left. Ease to the left. Bring your gaze back to center. Bring your left knee back to center. Release it to the floor. Bend your right leg to meet it, both feet to the floor. And then from here, I'm gonna leave it up to you. You can come into a Shavasana. You can come back to the heart bench, or you can come into a legs up the wall. So for legs up the wall, you just wanna scooch one hip up towards the wall. And then as you lay back, send your legs up. Heels will press into the wall. You want your legs nice and straight. You can bring that hand to your heart and that hand to your belly. If you take a heart bench or legs up the wall and you get tired or you feel tingly, you can come into your Shavasana. So however you would like to end your restorative practice, make your way there. As usual, I'm gonna mute myself and I'll come back with three rings of the bell.
If your in lines up the wall, just bring your knees down, come into fetal position. We'll meet you there, Stan. If you're in your Shavasana, wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, bring awareness back into your body. Hug your knees into your chest. Show yourself some gratitude and thank yourself for making it to your mat this afternoon, for giving yourself this restorative practice. Roll on to take your right arm back and then roll on to your right side. Falling into fetal position, our position of new beginnings. Recall the intention, purpose, or dedication you set in the beginning of your practice. Have the option to set a new one to take you through the rest of your Monday, or maybe even into the rest of your week, your Tuesday or Wednesday. Start to press yourself up to seated, facing forward. Bring your hands to heart center. Tuck your chin and glance down at your fingertips. Take an inhale to sit up nice and tall. On your exhale, let the breath go. Let's bow together and recognize the peace and light within each and every one of us. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for allowing me to take you through a restorative practice. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know how it was, to send me any feedback. You can always send feedback to Max too. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, feel better. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Pamela. How was it? Did you enjoy it? I love restorative, yes. Oh, good.